You might be wondering, why is she off-center? The reason being, I want to be able to show you the memes that I will be reacting to. I can't speak for every single gay person out there, but I think that I'm just as queer in June as I am literally every other month in the year, but Pride Month is Pride Month. With Pride Month coming to an end, I decided to be reacting to some gay memes. Alrighty, so first I'm just going to search up LGBT memes. Okay, because I want to get that sweet, sweet AdSense revenue. Just kidding, that isn't a thing for me. At least not at this moment. Probably never will. Rest in peace. The first meme that I'm going to be reacting to. So it's, I mean, you're gonna see it here, but this one meme is from bisexual underscore meme queen, and it's Gru taking off the sunglasses, and the caption says, wait, you cuffed your jeans also? Are you? Are you? Yes. Yes, I am. I actually don't cuff my jeans all that often. I mean, I do for one pair, but eh. Although it is a look, and one that I do like to rock. Not so much right now because it's really hot in Alabama. Anyways, next ooh, ooh, ooh. That is some tea. As I said in the intro, I am just as queer in June as I am literally every other month in the year. and. It's the little Arthur fist, except rainbow, and it says when it's Pride Month, but you can't go to any Pride events, so you're stuck just being gay online. Yeah, it comes as a surprise to some people that I've only gone to one Pride event my entire life. I was really involved in my high school's LGBT plus alliance. I was the co-president my junior year and the alpha gay, aka the president, my senior year, and I went to one last year last year being my first and to date only pride event and it was a ton of fun and yeah there's nothing much more to say to it um i was just as queer in that scenario as i was then oh before i forget to mention the previous meme was from at pride times but i mean you saw the handle on the screenshot this meme is from LGBTQ2 underscore babes, and it says, How did you find out you were LGBTQ plus? This is how I found out. How to tell you're gay, and it's like a gay pregnancy test. This is actually a thing that I saw back in high school. There's this one thing where I can't even remember the context of the Tumblr post, but it was something along this vein and saying like don't call yourself gay unless you went to the doctor to confirm or something along those lines and this definitely is the way to go if you want to avoid confusion oh this is from that's period a period lot of period gays did i really have to say all of the periods or i could have said dot I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, it's so it's a um they prefer the term LGBTQ plus activists and it's a box of rainbow nerds. Honestly, what a mood. Except I joke that I'm like the bisexual flag with the brain crossed out. I honestly feel like all my brain cells have just vanished. I don't know what happened to them. I know that it's like all quirky and relatable to say that you don't have any brain cells left, but I feel like after I peaked in middle school, high school-ish, things just went downhill from there, at least in terms of my cognitive abilities. So that's where we are now. If you know, you know. <laughs> I love this meme. Okay, if there is an overall consensus that Alex Jones is kind of in a world of his own. This would just be purely hilarious. So there's still a tiny little bit of fear inside of me 
when I see this meme. But anyways, it's Alex Jones uses his full power to protect the last two straight frogs during Pride Month 2020. Oh gosh, that rant. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay! The frogs just want equality, man. Pal? That isn't he. So, this Insta post is from stop underscore I'm gay. It's a screenshot of a Tumblr post. The first one, the first person saying, bi people can pass as straight. Anyone can pass as straight if they silence themselves enough. And then someone, the blog would say like, say it louder for the people in the back. And yeah, bisexual eraser. Erasure, not eraser. I mean, I feel like bi erasure is at least getting better. But I remember like, especially when I first was coming to terms with being bi, like it felt like I was just kind of on a pendulum swinging between girls and boys and I had to almost like have this quota of having girl crushes versus guy crushes otherwise I wouldn't be bi or like my identity as being queer was somehow contingent to who I was dating and I don't know if people can re resonate with this to the same degree or maybe to an even further degree I don't know but I do know that it can feel really rough, kind of feeling like you're not really straight, but not really gay, because you aren't. You're your whole separate, unique identity, and yeah, it's just a really tricky place to be, especially when people kind of dismiss your queerness because you're in a straight passing relationship. It doesn't make you any more or less queer, it just means that you're in a relationship. Oh. Okay, I have a story to go along with this one meme. This is from the world of the gay. On it's still on Instagram because I'm basic. Don't judge. Actually, no. Go ahead and roast me. But then again, I don't know if my mom will roast me in the comments and I don't know if anyone else watches these videos, so... Mom, you have my permission. It says, when someone tries to insult you by calling you gay, but you actually are. And it's like a skeleton just kind of cackling with a rainbow in the background. And this reminds me, senior year of high school, I was running my school's LGBT plus alliances booth. That was a mouthful. And there was this kid who walked past our tent, turned to their friend, and said, that tent is so gay. Still to this day, I'm... This keeps me up at night sometimes. Like, sometimes when I can't fall asleep, I'll just think about that kid and wonder... What point were they trying to get at? Were they trying to insult us? Because that was a pretty shoddy insult. Were they trying to point out the obvious? Were they trying to show that they know what a rainbow flag means? Like... If this kid somehow finds his channel and makes the viewing population of this channel beyond one... Hi! I would really like to know this. Alright, let's do a few more memes. So... I mean, I'm not pan, but I relate to it. So... It's this person interviewing Kat asking, you're pansexual? Presumably the cat says yes. And then the interviewer says, you must have so many partners since you have so many options. And then it's like the teary-eyed cat, which I love that meme. <laughs> and yep, when I heard that song, I think it's Everyone is Gay by, the great big, by a Great Big World. A Great Big World? And there's this one part where it was saying, if you're bi, then every fish in the sea wants to kiss you. No. <laughs> I still have social anxiety and liking people or having people like me means that people need to know that I exist and I need to know that people exist and in order for that to happen there needs to be some kind of social interaction 
and I'm not good at that. So, no. But I mean, that being said, I'm really content with the friends that I have and the relationship that I'm in, so that's what matters. Uh huh. Mm. Uh huh. I feel like my initial reactions are very awkward and cringy to watch. Sorry, editing mads. But there's this. Okay, so the screenshot is posted by your.daily.lgbt. Like, what's the thesis? <laughs> but the tweet that it's screenshotted from is from Romelurus. Anyways, it says, Bisexual culture is looking at someone of the same gender and going, What if I'm actually gay and I've been lying to myself this whole time? And then looking. That's wrong then, but. I'll look past that. And then looking at someone of the opposite gender and going, what if I'm actually straight and I've been lying to myself this whole time? Yep. <sighs> that, that was definitely me in high school. I've just kind of gotten to a point where it's like, so what if I've been quote unquote faking it this whole time? That doesn't mean that my experiences in the past are any less valid. Like, I still felt what I felt, and I guess I've just learned to own up to that. And that was a lot easier said than done, but to anyone who might be in a similar, a similar position, I hope hearing that from someone else was at least somewhat useful. Oof, okay. This is the last meme. Again, it's a tweet, so meme purists. Sorry, pal. The Insta account that posted this is from lgbtq.pancakes, and there's a dot between each letter in lgbtq, and the tweet's from Witchy Twitchy TV. It's pretty topical. It reads, really confused as to why fellow members of the LGBT community are denouncing the riots, saying this doesn't solve anything, as if the Stonewall riots didn't kick off modern day pride as we know it. Yes. I think that this is something that's too commonly overlooked, and as funny as it is to laugh at game relatable memes and to put rainbow everything, it's still important to remember how we got here, be thankful for the tons of people, especially the black trans women who paved the way so that we can have all these things like relatable gay memes and pride parades and things like that. It's not an easy thing to accept. I know that's- it can be an unsettling thing to accept and I get that. But at the same time, just because something's unsettling or uncomfortable doesn't make it any less true or valid or important. Yeah, I'm just really thankful for activists like Marsha P. Johnson. Anyhow, that is it for me today. This was something a little bit different, but I don't know, gotta try everything at least once. Or, I don't know. Please like this video, if not for the queer memes, for the effort that I put into not looking like a potato. Comment especially if you were that kid in 2015 who walked past the tent for an LGBT plus alliance and called the tent gay. I really want to hear your feedback.